he even tagged Eon as like, I'm coming for you. And Dang. it was like, where, where is he? <laughs> yeah, or if it's a... Uh, what does Void do usually for his uh, winner of winner of MSN pictures? He's like lying down or something. I'm right? not. I'm not gonna lie. It's been so long since Void's <laughs> gone to a local. I'm not. I'm not even gonna try to front from a man's right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see who the winner of MSN tonight's gonna be. Yo, and it's only it's only 11:46. Not too bad. That's what happens when uh, you got very talented players with very good punish games. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, man. <laughs> Breezes through the bracket much faster. And you got, like, people like Elegant or Void or Eon or, you know, Larry and all that jazz. Like, just very clean punish games, so stocks fly. Yeah. Even when I was sitting down, like, running a bracket, it was like, I called Larry's match in, like, five minutes, and he's like, I'm on 2 And I'm like, wait, wait a minute. I just called your match. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like, a top player will finish two of their matches before, like, uh, another a set, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, the loser round one matches definitely take a while sometimes <laughs> because they're, like, going to game three and they're having trouble finding the punishes. But anyways, what matters now is that Void and Eon fighting in grand finals right here. We got the, whoa. We, okay, we got the, no. No, no, it's evolving. It, it evolved, it evolved. It evolved, okay, okay. Yeah, Vo Void treated his Pichu so well that, I mean, fun fact, Pichu doesn't evolve off levels. Pichu evolves off happiness. So Void treated his Pichu so well, became so happy that he evolved to Pikachu. No way. This is not real. I don't believe it. This is a hand warmer. Yeah, it's awesome. But yeah, so um, Void Void and Pichu, man, they had they had such a great run. Yeah, second at Genesis. I don't know what you... Uh, I mean, obviously, first at Genesis would have made the Pichu a little <laughs> happier. But, you know, second at Genesis still made the Pichu really, really happy. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah. It evolved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Void. Uh, you know what, man? I, I didn't want to say this, but I, I'm I'm glad Void's kind of experimenting with some of the other Pika skins because I'm not I'm not a super huge fan of the party hat. I think the party hat is nice, but I just I, I think some of the other hats are a lot better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think uh, I think party hat is kind of reserved for for Axe at this point. Right. Like right over yeah. over over in melee. Just, so. just in case. Just in case Axe plays ultimate, you know, he yeah. can just swing on by and be like, oh, yeah. I'll I don't know. He's like, he, he, he's like, he's so good with Pikachu, it like spans across games. It's like, you can't play Party Hat Pikachu anywhere. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> let's see. But I know I know Void has been dabbling with, like, Gen 2 hat. We saw the X and Y hat earlier. Yeah. I honestly feel like you own, you're, you're Void, you're from Hawaii. There's the Alolan hat. The Alo I guess it's more of a beanie, but mm -hmm. looks like yeah. we're going the X and Y hat with the Stun of Shades. Okay. You know, I remember when the game was first coming out, I was like, okay, Pikachu Libre is going to be an Echo Fighter, like, no doubt about it. And then it ended Dude. up being a skin. It's like, okay, fine. I mean, yeah, I, yeah I'll take it. But it would have been sick, like yeah. a grappling Pikachu. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Pikachu's kind of a grappler. He gets a lot <laughs> off grab, and his yeah. grab range is, is insane. But it would have been cool to see a grappling or a grab variant of Pikachu. Imagine a Pikachu with Ding Dong. Oh, my God. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't have quick attack for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. That's a like, really bad move. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> some really <laughs> horrible, like, recovery move. Yeah. You just, like, gimp them. Yeah. All right, buddy. Here we go. Already, the Pikachu kind of getting blown up so far. Eon going really well with the Fox. Yeah. And, I mean, this is a matchup. If you're a Fox main, you're going to have to be proficient. Uh, Pika and Pichu are pretty much considered Fox's worst matchups. Um, I mean, the meta is always open to change, but... I, Fox just has a very tough time getting back on the stage against a very proficient Pikachu or Pichu. The edge guarding is mm -hmm. so, so strong yeah. against a character like Fox where your recovery is not necessarily bad, but it's very exploitable. And if you want to go high, well, I heard there's a th storm, man. You got to yeah. watch out. Mm -hmm. Eon thought he was definitely safe. You're oh, dead. okay. You're not dead. Alrighty, I thought I was up smasher. <laughs> I guess he wanted to cover both sides just in case. Yeah, and I mean, oh, there's a regrab, the get up attack, and another down smash cross stage is not... Quite enough. Tries to get the Nair, and this Pikachu is still alive. Damn. I don't think I've seen Pikachu. Okay, there we go. I was like, okay, wow. We were pushing like 200% with this character. Like, like literally, snuck Fox would just have to sneeze on him, and then we'll be fine. Honestly, Eon only took like five damage because of it, so yeah. it's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like the turnaround grab coming up from Eon. Yeah, very quick. Just kind of slide, uh, slid in there with that. There's an air drag down right into the up tilt. Are you going to get the platform extension? No, Eon dying to the right, but... Void continuing the loop with the fair drag down. Wow. Very, very crafty stuff from Void. Usually off the down throw, you can't get another like drag down loop. But if you go with the fair, but Eon right there to catch and read Void's exact air drift down with the up there. You got to be very precise with that up there. Yeah. It's not very wide. It is very strong, but it isn't very wide. Mm -hmm. Like Ike up there. 
Well, they have to be that accurate. Right. Ooh! Okay, there we, <laughs> there we go. Goes with a forward smash at the ledge, just catching Eon with a high recovery there. Ooh, and Fox is such a fast follower that Void was not able to pick up the second back air. That is, a, if he was able to pick that up, that would be a very horrible position for Fox. But look at the frame traps coming out from Void, man. The up air out of shield and back air out of shield. Like, just Pikachu and Pichu are probably have the best out of shield options. They're, they're so, so quick. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, ZSS does have, like, frame four, and then there's other characters, like, with really quick up -bees. But, like, in terms of what you get out of it, too, Pika's very, very up there. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's go for the grab. What are we going to do after this jab? All right, let's go for a down throw. Down throw. Okay, very interesting. Not setting up for the offstage, but going to opt for the pressure center stage. Kind of gets the on off stage, but doesn't really capitalize too hard. But, man, Void is keeping the pressure up, calling out all these jumps in the shine. All right, that, that looked like a melee shine there, using it to keep an opponent at bay right there. Yeah, I Ooh, mean, technically, okay. shine is your quickest uh, aerial hitbox you can throw out. Mm -hmm. It is quicker than Nair. Oh, okay. Yeah, fun fact. Okay, there's a drag down pressure. Eon not pulling the trigger. Ooh. Oh, well, I was so scared when he threw out the hitbox there. Oh, the edge guards, though? Yeah, and he had to shorten the illusion so he wouldn't get hit. The back air. Does close it out. Eon with the rage, 136% going to seal it out with the back air. Mm -hmm. Man, Eon won that game. He had like a little smirk on his face. Now, now it's gone, but like when he initially won, he's like, hey, hey, yeah. Yep, got the back. When you, like the crazy thing is, last talk, last hit, you know, like the Fox knows he wants the back air. The opponent knows he wants the back air. We know he wants the back air. The viewers at home know they want the back air. So it's like it's pretty hard to hit the back air, especially against someone like Void, who's been very, very proficient against Fox for yes, years. Definitely, he's been playing Fox for years. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's oh. and Fox. Just it's crazy, man. Like Fox in this game, I feel like he gets out of more combos because of his fall speed. Because mm -hmm. in Smash Four, he kind of got like comboed harder yeah. in a lot of situations. But in this game, I feel like. He doesn't really get comboed as hard in, like, especially low percent situations. Right. Mm -hmm. I can definitely see that. Okay, keeping it close here. Eon already racking up quite a bit of damage. Both these characters very explosive in a sense of uh, their damage output, especially early game. Uh, the, like the sub 50% mark, both these characters can just do so much damage to each other. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, wow, that was a really quick rising there, actually. Barely. That was like, if he was 1% lower, he wouldn't have died. Like, that's how close that was to killing. Right. So just enough rage, and man, that was off of a rising there you too. So you usually see the falling there in the up smash, but he was able to seal that out with a rising there in the up smash. Really good awareness. Man, Void really wanted that up B. Oh, oh man, he's gone. Be your soul. Yeah, yes. that's, that's it. Void, uh, definitely not a player that, you know, I won't say he never drops it, but he usually doesn't drop it. Mm -hmm. Oh, but here's the Nair loose into the grab. Now we're going to go into the, oh, goes into back air instead. Okay, gets the grab. Another down throw. Tries to get that sour up air, but... Just Shine will knock him away from that. Yeah. All right, got the thund Thunder Drill pressure. Okay, just meets in the air to air with an air. Again, just uh, beating him out in the air so many times, actually. Yeah, and Fox can act out of Illusion so much quicker and control his air drift, too. It can be really tricky hitting Fox after the Illusion. You usually want to hit him. Um, oh, there's the jab block. So much damage. Did you see that? The fair one, like, traded, and so yeah. he just dropped down, and then he didn't tech, so he's got a jab jab out of that. Such good awareness from Eon to be able to extend that into a combo. Oh, but the up air had the sparks there. No jump, but the forward tilt will do it here for Void. And, yeah, that earlier exchange, it's just crazy how fast he was, was able to react to that as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, that's like a crazy scramble situation. Okay. Gonna continue with the edge guard here, uses the double jump, keeps it in reserve, just so he can safely go to the ledge there. Void just waiting for a high recovery, and the back airs are coming out here for Void. Void wants to get some kind of loop started here, gets the sour near, tries to call it the jump, but Void not gonna bite there. Oh, trying to go for the forward smash, not quite though. Now the, the lead, ooh, never mind. Ooh. I was about to say the lead is slowly tacking on for Void even further than his next stock, but Eon is able to close it out before things get too hairy. That was such a clean, like, he dashed back, turned around, and just barely clipped Void. Such great spacing. The down air not going to spike. Really good short in there. And really good Firefox to follow as well. Coming mm -hmm. out from Eon, going to get him right back on the stage there. Yeah. He did it at the uh, kind of an awkward time where Void was already yeah. committed to going down. So it's like, okay, let me do it a little early. That way you're just going to get clipped by the, the, the fire hot hitbox. Yeah, the delay is very, out. very key. The short and the delay combined with that. And that's one thing a lot of Fox players don't do. You know what I mean? Like, you don't necessarily have to do your upbeat right when you're out of hit stun. Sometimes you can sink a little bit, then mm -hmm. do it. Just to stagger your timing. Yeah. 
definitely like those little microseconds that definitely help a lot yeah. in those recovery uh, scenarios. Oh, but that time, Eon going for that early upbeat to save his jump. Even with the shorten, Void was already dashing into the position to cover that. So Void will handily take that game number two. Just honestly nailing all the edge guards. I, I felt like that's really what we saw most of the time when Void got a slot yeah. in game number two, especially with FD, man. Like, you don't really have too much recovery options in spots. There's no other platforms you can kind of, like, maybe fire Fox to or Illusion to. Mm -hmm. Where, as, like, a, a, a stage like Kalos is great for Fox in that situation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Or, like, Battlefield. You got those two side platforms right above the ledge to kind of have those mix-ups for. Mm -hmm. Oh, yo, we got oh, the yeah. Alolan beanie. Alrighty, represent Hawaii. Dang, man, I didn't, dude, Void, I don't know if Void is out, really out here rotating on him like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like, how dare he? How, yo, he, he used the he wrote oh, Alolan dang. skin on me? Yo, like, he, he's you really rotating skins on me, bro? Like, <laughs> dang, man. And Eon is staying uh, true to the Red Fox. Yep. Was property of Larry Lur in uh, Smash 4, but. Yeah, has since found new ownership, so. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Larry doesn't even really play Fox like that anymore, so mm -hmm. I, I think Eon's more so just carrying the torch. Yeah. The, the, the respect, you know? Interesting Skull Bash there. Uh, it, it worked out. It traded, at least, so. But, uh, you know, Void Pulling had a lot of different tools right now. Skull Bash is one of those weird moves that it's super laggy, but if it hits Shield, kind of like Squirtle Side B, you kind of get that bounce back, and it's not, like, super safe, but it's, like, kind of safe. Yeah. Definitely like one of those safe Wi-Fi moves. <laughs> like safe, like super safe on Wi-Fi. Like yeah, it's probably yeah. it's positive on Wi-Fi. Ooh, that was really nice. Didn't oh. get the, the the meteor off of that there, but I really like the drag down fair to put him in that situation where he's forced to use an up B. And he tried to get the thunder to follow as well, which is the correct uh, edge guarding sequence. And wow, another uh, skull bash there. But Void was able to get the stock with the dash attack. And man, that's just something I feel like a lot of people sleep on. Man, having a a burst dash grab or a burst dash attack option that can kill at later percents, even if it's like way later, it's very, very powerful. Yeah. <coughs> Snake. Anyways. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. Jeez. Yeah. Snake, Wolf, Pika, like, mm -hmm. very strong, relevant characters in the meta. But Eon keeping it close here, not taking too much damage and getting that stock. But Void striking back with the down throw, catching him with the up air and dragging him down. Wow. And Void still wanted to keep hitting him. But uh, Eon getting that quick 40%. Yeah, Wu and both of them trading out. Man, Void could have got the uh, guaranteed back air there, but he wanted the, the down air reset off the tech chase. Mm -hmm. So um, kind of like one of those situations where he was kind of going for the stock rather than like, oh, let me set up this situation. Like, he right. just wanted the stock. Okay, there's okay, a yeah. Still got the up. control. Ooh, wow. Man, yeah. these guys are so quick. <laughs> Jeez, dude. It's like, it's crazy because, like, sometimes I'll be watching. I'm like, man, it's hard for me to keep up, and I'm just watching. Like, that's absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. Directional air dodge. The forward smash going to catch that illusion. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's, I that's mean, just like you were saying, man, every time he's gotten, like, an edge guard or at least keep him at the ledge for a really long time, then he's able to sequence into something that kills a lot easier. So Void definitely showing that, you know, he's, he's setting up his win condition. He's doing it just fine. Yep. And the multi-hit aerials. One of the worst things about it is your trade potential right there. Eon only taking 1.5% <laughs> for that stock. And let me tell you, man, that's a great trade for Eon. Yeah. Ooh, the ledge kind of messed up on that down oh. tilt combo. Unfortunate for Eon. Wow, he actually picked him up with dash attack yeah, as dash he was coming to the ledge. Yeah, dash attack has kind of a lower hitbox, so mm -hmm. it, it can definitely catch people. Ooh, wow, the illusion right into the jab there. Void definitely not expecting that. And right now, Eon with a very hefty lead. But here comes Void with his low percent combos. Not racking up too much damage, though. But here we are at it again. Yeah, very nice anti airs with those up tilts. Just keeps Fox at bay. <laughs> wow, that caught that backer caught in front of him. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a uh, wild. And that TJ definitely hit my man Fox standing on the ground. <laughs> oh, Ooh. I wonder if he tried to up smash there because up smash probably would have killed. He could definitely not the uh, lightest. <gasps> Miss tech dash dash and going for the down smash just for the damage. Okay, yeah, and then he turns around just so that because it sends him wherever Pikachu's facing. So. Yeah, Void did not turn around that up smash. Uh, definitely had Eon there off that uh, that side B, but wow, the shorten! Oh, no. The shorten was so smart coming out from Eon. Void bet like he he spaced it, so it was a regular or a long illusion. But like we said, time and time again, you do have the mix-ups as Fox and the Thunder hitting Pikachu has a lot of lag. Eon able to sneak that up air and 
is going to take game number three, I believe. Yeah. If I've, if I've counted how many times Ethan has lost stock because he thunders in the wrong spot and then just gets immediately punished afterwards, man. Yeah, I mean, it is a, a it is I, a kill move you're going for. Yeah. Okay. I was like, yeah, you're Pikachu, you're fast. You're like, oh, let's go for the kill right now. And yeah, then it yeah. doesn't work out. It's like, okay, what are you going to do about it? Yeah, and I mean, Pikachu, it's not like super laggy and you kind of like r raise up a little bit too. So it, it can be one of those moves that's harder to punish. But definitely still punishable. Mm -hmm. Neon showing that, taking game number three, having the edge here in this best of five. This is set one, though. So if Eon is able to take Void out in this first set, he will still have to take Void out in a second set to win this tournament and take it home. Yeah, we'll see, though. We got the Nair drag downs right now. What's he set up with? Another grab. Nair drag down. Uh, yes, I okay. love the setups from Void. And he, it's just funny because Void, Void just still wants to drag you down. <laughs> He will find a way, no matter the percent. And man, just like that, he's at 104, no double jump. Oh, there, okay, he had a double jump. Yeah, he's fine. All right. He's able to lose him back just fine. Oh, the trade's coming out, though. Oh, oh drag down there to up smash. Very nice. Yeah, and earlier I did point out um, that Pikachu has trouble with rising aerials to get the stock, unless it's a fair, very particular situation. But, oh, wait, we have an offstage situation. Wow, the up air in again. Oh, he didn't drop down with it. He tried to get the rising, but nonetheless, Void's still getting a lot of damage off that edge sequence. Yeah. At least uh, Eon still had his double jump that way. He wasn't forced into the Firefox. Yes. And, man, Void's still keeping the pressure on here. There's the double jump. The down air oh, almost gets it, but didn't have too much time to go for the up smash. Not enough. Oof. That was, like, atrocious DI, too. He went, like, straight up after that as well. <laughs> Even with the atrocious DI combo. Oh, the wave line on the stage here. Void, man, he's still alive here. And this is where it can be so troublesome for Vox here. You're having trouble killing. You don't have the lead as well. Just as I say that, Eon gets the back air. Don't worry, man. I got you, bro. No bias. See? <laughs> I hooked up the commentator's curse for everybody, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Okay. Eon's starting to get some momentum back. Oh, My the trades come in. Goodness. Fox's damage off a look at that already. 62 and counting for this man. And just like that, he's running back just the even, man. Mm -hmm. And that, like, as a Fox main, as a fellow Fox main, you know, I'll be behind an entire stock, but it's like to me, I'm just like, man, if, as long as I can get this stock, like the damage is practically free. Like, yeah. <laughs> I just need to get the stock. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the hard part. Yeah. Yeah, just like that, like you said, the, the, the damage is already back to even, so it's yeah. a matter of taking the stock. Oh, wow. whoa, Dang, that was we're a. Getting uh, okay. Really about <laughs> yeah. Here, man. We're getting super creative. Yeah, I mean, maybe Eon was just thinking, oh, what happened if I just landed this? Like, yeah. What, what happens here? Oh, he got the high part, the anti-air part of up tilt, and that's when you get the smash four up tilt into up air, the crispy stuff. And uh, that is going to take that stock. And like we said time and time again, the most important thing is taking the stock. Really good DI coming out from Eon. The short and the drift out is going to get Eon a ticket right back on the stage here. Oh, we got the high recovery coming in. Okay, knocks him back down. Double jump's gone. I don't know if he... I think he touched the ground, yeah. Okay, he's just going to be forced to the illusion. That's going to be a free fair. Yep, yep. Void being very, very ready for that. And here's the back airs. Oh, no, going to go right into the grab and into the loops. The turnaround as well. And now we got the whole sequence, the two reps of the grab right into the uh, the up tilt. But Eon able to smash the eye out of his way. Yeah, man, he is so consistent with those loops. I'm, like, Ooh. actually very, very impressed. Yes, uh, m many hours. And, I mean, Void, definitely a player that is down to play those training uh, training room characters. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, definitely. Sit in the training room with Arduino, just practice all the different kind of DIs, all the different types of characters. And, you know, he did it with Sheik in Smash 4, and he's very willing to do it with other characters in this game. Yeah. Got himself a ledge situation. Oh, the directional air dodge. A little risky there. Doesn't quite lose the stock for it, but still. Got another situation. Doesn't get the hard hitbox of the of the thunder. Oh, is, is nope. Not able to catch the uh, the illusion landing and oh, big damage here coming out from Eon. Gets the uh, down tilt, but Void setting up for another off stage. Tries to keep the pressure going, but now Eon with all the stage control. Okay, Void in the corner here. Eon just gonna pop a couple of lasers here. Gets the soft there, but doesn't follow up. Okay, yeah, Void not willing to throw the thunder out there to catch that high illusion. Uh, mm -hmm. We saw what happened game three on that. And right now, oh, Ooh, man, that was the right call completely. Uh, no, no, what? He he definitely did not DI that correctly. Uh, you, you saw how he kind of like angled more towards up. Yeah. Um, if he di like right and down, he probably would have lived. Mm -hmm. But um, a very quick aerial, so probably just not ready to get hit by it. Very quick and tangible tail as well. Um, and most of the time, Pika can't really kill with rising aerials. I kind of like talked, touched up on it a little earlier, but since now the match isn't going on, I can kind of like 
go on more in depth about it. So Pika can kill with aerials as long as he's coming down. We saw this drag down air, drag down fairies, a lot of setups, right? But a lot of the times with rising aerials, he can have a lot of trouble killing unless it's forward air off stage. Mm -hmm. So usually don't see, and that's like something Fox definitely doesn't have trouble with. Rising up air, definitely one of his right. more common things. So a lot of these other top tiers, they have a lot of rising aerials that they can kill with. Pikachu, that's probably his biggest weakness, mm -hmm. not having a rising aerial that kills. Right. Um, so he has to set up more into like these falling aerials. And when you're juggling someone, Guess what? Usually you're wanting to hit him with a rising aerial, so not being able to kill in those kind of situations is a big deal. But it obviously compensates with like great damage output, great edge guarding. Right. All right. Let's see. I mean, one nair loop already brought the damage back to even, but Eon still going in. It looks like these two. It's gonna be a going back at each other, back and forth kind of game. Yeah. And I mean, we'll see how th how this game five goes. Um, I mean, very, very back and forth for both of these players. Oh, what's the punish? The dash attack almost. I mean, not even close to Town and City, but yeah. got him in the bubble. I really like that. Like, it was very interesting. He just did the landing there and it sent him to the side, so he was able to set up into, like, another, like, read and edge guard sequence. So, yeah. ooh, the illusion into up air. Not quite, though. The Sakurai combo. Dang, we are out <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> We're out here for oh this Oh, my stalk. God. He was wow. so deep for that. As a character like Fox, you rarely Against see that Pikachu? happen. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. But, I mean, honestly, that that's another reason why that might have been just an amazing play, you know? I mean, just a very unexpected way to take the stock very early. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean, obviously it didn't work out, so it's like one of those situations where it's like he's either a genius or a dummy. But yeah, like, exactly. I, I definitely appreciate the curveball play. You don't always want to play quote-unquote standard because that's when you can get predictable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely tried to pull it out, especially on last game. Yeah, yeah. Potential like, last game like for Eon. Like a trick like that for a game five situation, I think yeah. it was a good place. But it didn't work out. So now Void getting a bunch of damage. But once again, the Thunder will get... The overextension on the Thunder will get punished. Yeah. The down smash is going to kill almost fair to follow. The four smash not connecting. Uh. Very great stall, but the second run back will connect it. And now an entire stock lead here for Void. Mm -hmm. I really appreciated the Firefox to try and delay a bit so that the four smash wouldn't connect properly. Yeah. That was but, great. Recovery. But great just, uh, you know, do sport four smash again and it'll cover the ledge option that time. So yeah. worked out for Void that time. Yeah, and that's something Pika is very strong. Pika's got a very quick down tilt, and the forward smash just lingers and covers so much area. And, mm -hmm. Wow, I've never seen this much people like just spectating MSM. We got, we got, a, we got a crowd out here, man. Yeah. <laughs> what happens when uh, you know lots of uh, whoa, whoa. PR players, uh, <laughs> you're <laughs> you know, right, right, right. come to these events? But man, Eon hasn't taken that much damage, honestly. Yeah, we'll have to see what, is what we talked about, man. Closing out the stocks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Down throw. He's trying to set up Yeah, he's trying to set up the sour up air into the fair combo, but he doesn't get it. Great e um, DI from Eon, but can Eon close out this stock? That's what it comes down to Fox, man. The damage comes easy, but how tricky can you be? The back air connects. You knew it. I knew it. He, we all knew he wanted to go for the back air, but somehow, some way, he finds it against a player like Void. Very, very crafty stuff coming out from Eon. Mm -hmm. He's able to sneak Ooh, right by. The Ooh, big down tilt combo. Ooh, That's going to yes. be a lot of down damage. Down tilt at zero. Give me that damage. Give me all of it. 64, 78. Now Eon with the lead. One neutral exchange. This character can do some insane things. How does he get back? Oh, he, gets oh, the oh, air he got the air dodge. Oh, my God. That was so clean. Ooh. Did you see Void's face? Wow. He is, he is so impressed and upset at the same time. He's Dude. like, oh, man, he did that. And then at the same time, no he's like, oh, man, yeah. he did that. No Fox bias. No Fox bias whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But that was clean. That uh -huh. was like, that all started with a down tilt at zero. I'm going to touch you one time. Bop, bop, bop. So much damage and gets one solid reset. And like I said, the damage comes easy. But how are you getting the stock as Fox? And that's where Eon and all these other top Fox players, that's where they really shine. That's where they get really creative, really crafty with the neutral tools that Fox has because, yes, it's hard. Like, Fox is not a character that's like, oh, let me throw out these moves in neutral and, like, they'll kill. You have to abuse the fact that you have broken neutral, that you have a very good hit-and-run neutral, very in-out, uh, very whiff punish heavy, and use that neutral to be able to create openings for these thoughts. And Eon definitely showing how he can do that against a player like Void, you know? I mean... Void projected top 10, top 15 PGR coming out, currently ranked number one in SoCal. So definitely showing that SoCal has other talent other than Void that can really step up and show that, you know, SoCal has got some stuff, man. SoCal yeah. got some stuff, bro. Mm -hmm. 
All right, going back to the exact same stage. So let's see if uh, it works out better for this time for uh, Void. Reset on the platform, dude. This is so much damage. Yeah, and just just that single platform extension extended. Are you dead? Are you dead? Oh man, that was so close. You're to death? Okay. He's still going. He's still going. Yeah. Still hasn't been touched yet. Okay. okay. One tray comes in. Okay. There's. Okay. Gonna get all Eon needs, and I love that Eon will cash out on some of those sour hit dash attacks at lower percents. Instead of going for another nair rep, he'll just go for like straight up up smash. I, I get damage. Yeah. Okay. Eon being very very slippery now. Void in a situation where if he doesn't seal out this stock soon, Eon could very much so bring this back in percentage and maybe even take this first off. Yeah, let's see what happens though. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, rising up air, just uh Like both of out. them went for a read at the same time. Boyd yeah. went for a jump read and then Eon went for an up smash read. Yeah. yeah. Pretty funny. Oh, okay, nice. comes back. Oh! That was so close to hitting. Yeah, not quite enough though. Let's see what he gets at the ledge. Oh, not oh, that quite. Was up smash on a platter. The back throw, is it going to be enough? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Fox, being the fastest follower in the game, does die horizontally um, quicker than most characters. And yeah. man, this is not a situation you want to be in. Very great reaction from Void. He knew he couldn't loop because he had the rage. He saw the up and in the eye coming out from Eon. He's like, okay, I'm going to back here. Create a possible edge guard situation here. Yeah, very nice stuff. Okay. All right, just uh, jumps nice. right over Illusion just to be yeah. able to cover that and then get the headbox in. Yeah. It gets a little bit more damage, but Eon does find his way on the stage. Eon really fishing for this down tilt, man. Oh, man, boy. Very, being very tricky of where he lands. Mm -hmm. Oh, sour up airs, sour up airs. Oh, man, yeah. that, that's where you got to be careful with Pikachu. Yeah, I guess the fair at the end is not quite at the edge of the stage with the Town and City platform extension so that he can get the stock, but still significant amount of damage, and Eon still hasn't quite. Never mind. Close out the stock right as I was about to say he didn't. You saw how deep, like, Eon knew that Void wanted a reversal situation on Flip Drop Double Jump, but mm -hmm. you saw how deep Eon, he had to, like, go in two roll distances in with that yeah. back air. Mm -hmm. Like, he compensated so well for Void's, like, air drift and the range on his move. That was just really, really nice back air placement. But mm -hmm. Void will find the stock with the dash attack, and he's still up an entire stock this game number one. But we saw a similar situation just like this game five. Just this, that last set, he was down yep. the entire stock. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be a matter of, uh, does he get a down tilt at zero? <laughs> that yes, pretty much exactly that, what happened. That's the move that makes the magic happen, man. Yeah. Down tilt at zero. Yeah. How does he get back? Okay, right there, Void. Abusing uh, the air drift from Pikachu, making so many different cross-up situations. And here comes the Nair Loops. Now we're going to opt for the up air right into the rising forward air, but does not work out. Eon getting a little bit more damage, and I like the little baby lasers at the end of the combo too. Why mm -hmm. not? Yeah. Just tag in a little couple more percent. Mm -hmm. They add up. Yeah, and they unsale some of your moves, so it works out just fine. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. That also unsales too. That's insanely good. You you probably want more for the unsailing than the damage, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the 1 percent is nice, but yo, my move's getting unsailed. Because in this game, your move's stale on block. Mm -hmm. So if you keep hitting someone's shield with the same move, oh, back here, oh, void with the insta-air dodge there. I like that, the little double jump to try and say, okay, try and do something to me. Yeah, yeah. Try to bait him out with something, but Eon not quite taking the bait, but still, he's got a lot of damage on him. Oh, forward tilt. The kicks. Not, not quite. Enough. But the fair to follow, yes. And that is something we're going to see time and time again. You got to be really careful of your illusion. But when you get hit so far off stage, usually Fox has to illusion first. To, like I said, you, you mainly do it to keep your double jump so you're closer to the edge and then you have some type of double jump mix up, right? <laughs> so it is kind of like quote unquote greedy, but it's just you want to have some kind of mix up, right? When you're getting close to the edge. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a good and a bad thing. Um, Eon could like double jump, then maybe like shine stall, then illusion, then Firefox. Like he has some of those, but then you're using your most valuable resource right off the bat, which right. he, he wants to avoid. But game number one going to Void here in this grand finals reset. Void with the Pikachu, the X and Y hat, and uh, Eon rocking that uh, the Larry Lur Fox, man. I I'm just going to call it. I don't even call it Red Fox. The Larry <laughs> Lur Fox. All right. Whoa. Ooh, geez, okay. <laughs> man, my boy SDIing. Like, that was fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he even buffered spot dodge after yeah, like, you know he was going down crazy. and out. All right, let's see here. Wow, he really just tried to go for force match there. I mean, definitely would have probably. Ooh. Oh, okay. You trying to swing? 
You trying to land on me with an aerial? You trying to reverse the situation? Here's the up smash. I'm gonna need you to hold that stock real quick and only 11% before mm. striking back. Yeah, he even had the little charge too. It low profiles Fox from yes. those aerials as well. He does well, crouch so. a little bit as well. That's <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a really big deal. And his uh, I, oh like, no, a down tilt oh, at zero. The, the down tilt at zero, <laughs> the deadliest <laughs> thing to get hit by. Yeah. All right, Void just goes to the ledge. It's like okay, 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 we're getting out of here. My favorite combo in the game is Fox down tilt, raw bear. Down tilt raw bear into like <laughs> dash tech something something. But like down tilt raw bear twice in a row, it just looks so hype. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, what's the mix up here? Going low, saving the double jump. The thunder catches. Boy, not able. He was so close mm -hmm. to continue the edge guard. But the drag down bear and the dash tech looked like it was true and almost kills, but Kalos with a very high ceiling. Yeah. And now Eon with complete control. Now, we saw game one when Void had the entire stock lead, right? Now I want to see how Eon can abuse this entire stock lead. The bear is going to close it out here. But that's such a big deal in this game. And how you play and abuse that stock lead is such a big deal. Mm -hmm. That's one thing about, like, Pikachu up tilt is very good. You can go usually up tilt into up airs. But if you get it at zero, you usually can't set up into loops. Loops you want to set up from the, either a raw grab or, like, a, a, nair, a landing nair. You know, I really like those shines from Eon because uh, it rises him up in the air just a little bit yes. to escape the, the thunder loops if he's not, like, frame perfect on them. So yeah. very nice, though. So, oh! Eon also had that clean parry on the uh, clean parry on the quick attack into the down smash, but nonetheless, the up air finds its mark, and there goes Void's second stock. Yeah, down to the last stock here on the second game. Well, let's see. Well, here's the back airs. Tries to catch the jump with the up air. Not going to quite work out. Eon knows he can't punish that back air behind him on shield, and there's that up smash just for the damage, the call yeah, out, man. The cashing in on it. Oh, there's the down smash. Not going to quite kill just yet, but Void off stage here. Gets the forward air. I believe he got his jump back. Or yeah, yeah he did. Anyway. Okay. Well, let's uh, try, to, try to mix them up. It's like, psych, I had my jump. But the, the Void was ready for it, so. Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, he still has a decent lead here. I mean, in terms, just, like, not that big of a lead, just because both these characters, their damage output's so, oh, man. And you got to grab this up into the loop. Into the up tilt rep. Here we go. Up, down. But Void not getting the re-grab. He probably wanted the, the grab reset. Mm -hmm. Wants the grab to set up for the... Uh, down throw, fair drag down up tilt. Right. That we've seen him go for it around like 50 against Fox. Ooh, oh, DI like in that. on that up tilt, mm -hmm. or the down tilt. If you DI in on um, down tilt, you get a up air. Yeah, he tried to do the super deep edge guard play again. Not quite going to work out again, but let's see. Okay. Jackson Balfour to the other side. Illusion oh. covers that with the dash attack. Goes high. Can he reach the ground? He does. Yeah, and Illusion just covers oh. so much <laughs> distance, just like that Nair. Into the up smash, and Eon will take that game on Kalos. Wow. Yeah. And man, that's a. Uh, when they're when you're fighting against Fox and you're in the. Uh, I like to call it the golden percent. When you're at that 90, 80 to like 100, 110 percent mark, where it's like, if I get hit by Sour Nair, I lose. Yep. That's like the one thing you can't get hit by. Because, I mean, like, Dare's not really too much of a confirm on most characters, but Sour Nair to up smash, uh. Old Faithful, man. Works in every game. Hey, man. Sometimes things never change. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? Right. <laughs> right. And side beat up air is still a thing. Like, yeah. Good old Sakurai combos. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're 1-1. Both these players going back and forth here in this grand finals reset. Void versus Eon. Yeah. Going to a smaller stage this time. At least uh, geographically, it's a smaller stage. Less walking room, rather. Yes. Yes, for sure. Um, definitely going to give uh, less space to dash back and... Stage control can be a little harder to gain control of on this stage just because the stage is smaller. And we got the smaller blast zones as well, mm -hmm. which is probably why Void picked the stage. Um, Void getting a lot of his stocks off of the offstage fares. So yeah. if that kills even like 5% earlier, that's going to be a very, very big help for uh, Void. Mm -hmm. Okay. Goes for the block string there. Goes for a jab after the landing there. Ooh, very nice drift back on that forward air after he hit the shield and then came back in with the quick attack. Man, like I said, uh, Pikachu can be so hard to catch. There is the double jump. Gonna go, oh, barely catching it. The directional air dodge to the ledge, barely getting it. Ooh, try to read a high recovery there. He's still able to come, drift back down, cover the low one as well, and the late hit of the fair, still not enough to do. Whoa. Oh, Definitely tried to okay. hit him with the skull bash. Yeah, that I mean, still worked out. He was able to quick attack back, and he got another edge guard situation out of it. Death? No, oh, not quite. so close. And I like how Void, Knew that he was going for the short and drift out, so he didn't even try to go for the fair. This up throw is going to take it. Man, why does Pikachu have an up throw that kills Why is man? Fox so light, bro? Come on. Okay, okay. okay. I, 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 at least Fox is, uh, has always been light. It's not like they Dude, randomly. Dude, he's lighter than Mewtwo. 
Okay, uh, enough of my Fox rant. <laughs> you, can, you, you can definitely tell I'm a Fox man. Hey, man, he's just like, what, 160 pounds or something in the game? I think like 260. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, he, he's supposed to be heavy. Like, I don't know who, whose idea was it to make him like a light metal, character. Metal boots, bro. Look at look at what my mo my man Fox is rocking right now. But all that gear's got to be kind of heavy, dude. I mean, it could be titanium. It could be really light. You don't know that. <laughs> aluminum? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I'm just a pilot, bro. Like, look at the aluminum. All right, here we go, though. What's the option going to be? You saw that he was trying to get the back air out. Actually, kind of a risky attempt at a trade there from Void, but he's able to beat him out with the Ferris. Okay, now we got an opportunity. Doesn't yep. trip, but still Void. able to get the combo off of it. Void is definitely in the golden percent. Can't get hit by that Sour Nair. You see him avoiding it like the plague. Now getting hit up to 127. Sour Nair probably just going to set up a tech chase. He was so close to hitting that down smash. He actually had the right read, but Void <laughs> barely went around it. Like, mm -hmm. on both of those down smashes. And off stage, very, very tricky here. The town build doesn't connect, but the Nair sends him backwards. Tried to call it the jump, and yeah, uh, man, he's been trying to read like a jump or some kind of high recovery each time, and I think Eon's catching on to it. But equivalent exchange, we got the up smash for up smash, but just that 58% off the down tilt. Man, Eon is on fire with his combos and still hasn't gotten hit yet. Okay, I was gonna catch this corner, okay, but now Void getting a not the craziest string, doesn't set up for a, a loop, but gets damaged nonetheless. Mm -hmm. All right. Reverse forward tilt. Doesn't get anything out of it, though. He's still got a little oh. bit of control. Okay. A clean cross up coming out from Eon. Definitely uh, broke Void's ankles there. Catch the air dodge. Oh, that was so smart. That would have killed. Yeah. Um, it didn't work out, but. Mm -hmm. He's definitely looking for Void to like come out with a hitbox. Okay, cross up bear. You know, that'll work. Like it, like it always does. Yeah, Void stretching out, going for the jabs in the corner. He could have locked him there. Would have got a lot of damage. But he was able to hop out of that pressure and get the backer. Only taking 57%. Very, very doable here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one down tilt again. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. It could definitely happen again. Uh, yep, there it is. Uh, he t I wonder what move Eon wants to hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh! oh! That was a really bad call on that drift there, trying to land with the fair to Thunder. Yeah. Well, it, it's, it's, that was so smart from Void because... He knew he was pressuring Eon to the point where it's like, Eon wants to just swing and get him off, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he wants to swing and drift in because that's how you're going to catch people off guard. So Void spaced that thunder to the point where it's like, if you swing because you're like, want to like swap me off you, you're going to swing and drift in right into this thunder radius. And that uh, thunder radius was quite large. So yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely getting the stock there. And I mean, definitely something that, you know, like you said before, you know, these risky thunders definitely can get Pikachu killed in a lot of situations but i think knowing when to go for certain kill options and call outs are, is really important because void was at zero and like even if that doesn't work out you're not you're probably not going to get punished with down tilt mm -hmm. so you're not going to take too much damage. Mm -hmm. but yeah just that that top level risk reward is what really separates like good from the great you know right. what i mean like it, it, it those are in those particular situations like because you give you give eon one down tilt and he could have won that game mm -hmm. you know what i mean because it's just, it's so scary so knowing when to close out when to go for the stock kill is so so important. Mm -hmm. very true and already eon starting off with a relatively large amount of uh, percent off of that opening yeah the really good di up and in on that down throw from Void earlier because he was trying to drift towards that platform. Mm -hmm. So really good stuff avoiding all that. The trades coming in, but not in favor of Void. Eon still putting up this pressure, getting the lasers for the punish on the Skull Bash. Why not, man? Yeah. It was, I, it was an interesting option from Void as I wasn't expecting that. Could have been a miss but who knows. But yeah, he was able to get out of like any kind of bad juggle situation out of right. Eon. And then quick attack off stage is just like, Fox ain't gonna edge guard you, so. Yeah. Oh, jab lock. What do you say? Oh, okay. I wonder if he tried to go for another down tilt there instead of a third jab. Because mm -hmm. the only way you get the kill in that situation is you go for another down tilt, hope they miss the tech again, and then you kill them. Yeah, so probably try to cash out more and then just kind of miss it, put it there. Another back air comes in, gets that laser damage. Man, a triple laser there. I appreciate the attempt from Eon. Uh, you know, we haven't seen too many ledge trumps in this yeah. entire like reset, or like the entire grand finals, actually. Yeah. So just trying to mix it up with something, trying to edge guard this Pikachu. Oh. Woo! Double dash attack, where you at? And off the top, Fox goes. Can you catch the landing? Air dodge off stage. Fox can't really do anything about that one. Wow. Void played that corner situation very, very well. And he's getting rewarded for it. Oh, okay. psych. Yeah, try to get a grab, try to maybe reset the, th the drag down uh, loops again, but uh, Eon's able to go ahead, go in and get that up smash. And that was really nice from Eon, too, because we've seen him throughout this whole entire set going, wow, he spammed down tilt. 
Oh. And, well, you can still make it? Yeah. No. <laughs> he can't. He can, but he, he can't. He could have latched the ledge. He could have latched yeah. the ledge. So, Void knew that, so he had to go for the second dunk there. Um, got yeah. the 45 degree angle. Now, Void up an entire stock here. Yeah, I mean, we, the fact that Eon has been avoiding getting dunked on, like, pretty much this entire grand finals, attributes to how good Eon is at recovering. This is an yes. unfortunate situation where he had he had lost his jump and now he couldn't make it back after that. So. By one of the best players oh! in the world at edge guarding, as we say that, <laughs> <laughs> definitely up there in the ranks of like Esam, Tweak, and Leo. Like Void is definitely up there in terms of edge guarding. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, very very great stuff from Void. Closing out three one.